Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video today. We're gonna to go through all the builds. Now there's been tons of changes with skills, skill trees, builds, and a lot of people are confused about what to do, what build to use, which is a good build right now. So in this video, I've got the answers and I'm gonna tell you what to do. So stay tuned. If you're wondering what all the names at the bottom of the video are, those are all the lovely people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel in the last week. So thank you very much. If you do want to support the channel or if you just want your name to appear in the next video, just click the red button. Now there's two main kind of build makers or build guys used at the moment on the scene, which is um, MMLH's Google Sheet and Parrot's Google Doc. I'll go through two of them, which I will link both below, but before I go through that, I'm going to write some notes to give you suggestions of what builds you should be aiming for and what kind of level. So I broke it up to three different sections, beginners, mid players and later players. Now beginners are for people who've just literally started the game or have been playing the game for a couple of weeks. Uh, mid players are for people who have had like half the artifacts, uh, artifacts collected. I've run about 1000 skill points, got a bit of passive been playing for a couple of months kind of know what they're doing and later players are for people who've got all the artifacts all the enchantments and you know pretty much just grind into the uh, end cap stage so for beginners players i would recommend to choose clan ship build due to recent updates clan ship build is pretty op at the moment so pretty much used on every stage anyway um, but clan ship is pretty steady pretty easy due to you get access to a lot of hero damage and you should be joining a guild straight away anyway I recommend doing clan ship build. You can do pet build, you got, but you've got to build up your pet levels first. So clan ships for beginners. Mid player, now again, clan ship builds, probably the first one you should go for. But you do have a choice of maybe swapping up to a shadow clone or heavy strike build. But that's only if you've got enough passives, uh, enough skill points, it's around about over a thousand skill points and enough mana to cover it. You do you realize if you do have enough or not by just simply testing them out at the moment? Uh, respecting so trying out resetting your skill tree is free, so it shouldn't cost you anything. So, it's right now, if you're not too sure what build to use, just try them all out. Try one, take a screenshot. If it doesn't work, try another one. Now, for later game players, uh, if you've got everything, all artifacts, all enchantments. At that point, it's pretty much any build you want. You probably would have been playing for quite many months to get that stage. So mostly it's down to your play style. So play style, which I mean is, for example, Shadow Clone's very lazy. You don't need to tap that much. Um, uh, pet build's a bit active. Heavy Strike's even more active. You've got to tap even more. So it depends if you really want to push. If you want to push, maybe do a Heavy Strike or a clan ship build if you want to do really lazy because you work or busy or you've just had enough of the grind then do a shadow clone build so at that point later players really just choose whichever build you prefer playing um, so those are the kind of builds that you should be looking at now the actual build optimizes themselves before I begin i will recommend going to the tap type into compidium website and they don't have builds up there at the moment because all the updates with new skills are coming there should be one more update left with new skills after that it might be updated but this is a good place for resources they've got everything uh, clan guys build guides uh, equipment so i recommend for example on this one which i will link in the description below tells you what equipment you should be using for each build so for clan ship builds you should have critical damage or damage or all hero damage in your first slot and etc etc uh same for like your last one your slash damage uh, slash equipment should be clan ship damage for clan ship build obviously and for pet equipment gives you advice of which equip oh. <laughs> for pet equipment gives you advice for which equipment you should be using so again look at this first as well while building your build so you know exactly what to do so the first build optimizer or build maker i'm going to use is parrots one i will link in the description below this is one of the easiest ones to do um some people say mmlh is one is much more optimized uh it's slightly better but it's, it's up, totally up to you which one you want to use um but this one is very very straightforward all you need to do is scroll to the bottom and import your stats from here so you go in game so you bring your game up go to options go to export so when you click on that it will say copied to clipboard and then when you go in there you click import from clipboard it should automatically do it if not go in a box and press paste once this is all loaded that's pretty much it. You just go to the top and select which build you want to do. So for example, if you want to do a ship, clan ship build, your gold type, if it's ferry, if you're not too sure, just select all. 
um, and then you put spend all available skill points or if not you can do the drop down on the menu here so the highest one is the most um the highest ranking is the most recommended amount and then you go down from there so for example you can click that one click that one and keep going through it for the most recommended or you can just press spend all skill points now bear in mind it sometimes is not 100 percent accurate i have used it a couple times when it's it unlocks something um when it doesn't have enough um skill points requirement this has only happened once or twice they might have fixed it parrot might have fixed it by now but for example like it would unlock um dimensional shift but then there was no skill points in ed but it's probably fixed now because by look, looks of it it looks fine i don't see any problems at the moment so it's probably fixed uh also if i do recommend turning things off if you don't use it i never use forbidden contracts so if i was gonna do that i'll switch forbidden contract off if you don't want to use uh poison edge again switch it off so for example do that and just spend it all again and then that's it it's literally easy as pie MMLH is a bit more trickier. Uh, the link to it is on the competing website. So it says MMLH is school point optimizer. You click on that. Always make a copy. So you click on make a copy. Uh, again, I'll provide all the links to it below in the description of this video. Now, if it comes up and it doesn't say copy or it doesn't work, click file and go down to where it says make a copy. You must make a copy, otherwise it won't work. Now, these are loads of explanations in different languages and loads of tips, instructions, all in the first tab. So if you're not too sure, just read that. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is pick your build. So this is the first one. So I'll open the screen there. So you click Shadow Clone Damage, and then you pick whichever build you're using. I'm using Clan Ship. Again, income. This is your gold income, so pick whichever one you want. And uh, the amount of skill points you have, I forgot how much I had. Was it 3664? I can't remember. Um, you can ignore all these orange bits. It doesn't really do much difference, to be honest. Uh, downgrade mode is also just downgrades the skill points that's recommended. Um, dark mode just changes the whole thing to dark if you prefer not having so brightness that burns your eyes. Hero is the highest hero and extension is the border around the hero. You should know this by now if you're if you're more than extension one. So when you first start, you will not have a border. It will be clear when you do the first extension. So it should be green, blue, gold, and then like light blue, cyan, whatever it is. Um, I believe it's blue, green, gold. So I think that's the color, uh, the color system of the borders, but I can't quite remember. But it should be different color grading for that. Uh, so if you you pick whichever ascension you are, I'm ascension four because you can tell because it's the light color around the hero, around the heroes. And uh, then the strongest hero is the hero you reach with out any skills activated so without your skill uh, skills activated whichever your highest ms is um, and then this section just click all the equipment sets you have so just go to your equipment section so equipment crafting and check your legendary mythic sets to see which ones you've got and click all the ones you do have very simple again all probability slash if it's uh, all probability slash one if it's not your main slash. So what it means by that, go to your equipment and where the slash is. So that's slash, uh, sorry, <laughs> that's aura. Uh, that's slash, that's aura. So you go to slash, pick equipment, and then your probability, this is what you put in. If you haven't got probability equipped or showing, then just put one. So I've got 1.145. So this is what I should put, 1.145. Uh, critical, this is in your stats, again, 60%. You just go to your um, whoop, hero, stats, and then critical. Uh, so critical chance, again, just type in what's in your stats, 85.87. 85.87. Uh, Cleveland Strike, in-game build, I'm, I'll am i leave it at zero because I don't know if I'm adding it yet or not. And crafting power level, again, you go to your equipment, crafting power level which will be here at the bottom mine's level 38 so you literally just check what you have in game and just update it as you go along and once you've done all that the bottom two companion frenzy and max kill time or taps per second don't worry about changing that leave them as they are doesn't really matter and then what you do is you clear when you get here it might have some skill points allocated already so just click on the clear skill uh, clear tree button give it a few seconds it will update and clear it there we go so skill points left for skill tree and then all you need to do 
is start allocating the points. So these three buttons here, you start clicking on them because it's the most recommended going down and it will all start up auto uploading. So you keep doing that until they're all spent and that is your build. You can look at your screenshot to see how it's filled in, how it's using. Sometimes you might get errors. If you get an error show up or if it turns red, it simply means it's allocated a skill point uh, when it hasn't have a previous point unlocked. So say for example, um, I had lightning burst on knock, it will show up an error because I need one point in Heart of Madas, otherwise it won't work. Um, so if that happens, just go back and make sure you've filled in points before. So uh, for example, again, if it's got a point of phantom control, but there's no point in dimensional shift or ED, then you've got to go back and put those points in for it to work. Eventually, once your all skill points are used, you have a full tree and that's how you use the MMOH's Google Sheet. If you have any problems, leave a comment below and um, I'll, well, basically answer them as much as I can. So I hope that's helped you in some way. At the moment, that's the best um, build makers, optimizers, build guides we've got. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're quite new, use Canship. To be honest, Canship's quite OP, so you should be using it anyway. If you want to know what equipment to use, use look at the Competium website and then pick either Parrots or MMOH's uh, Google Docs to help you actually build the builds. Uh, they're updated quite frequently, so when a new update comes out, which with the new skills, they should be updated quite quickly. Uh, apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subbed and also get your name featured on the video below, like this, uh, for a bit of clout. And thank you very much, and see you next time. Take care. Bye.